Tesla is no longer a vehicle company. This is an incredible tech company dedicated to contributing to the development of superintelligent artificial intelligence, universal humanoid robots, and a bright future with abundance for all. Tesla Investor Day 2023 was recently held where Elon Musk spoke about the future of the company's new Tesla developments, including new robots as well as the Optimus robot demonstrated a Cybertruck and discussed the development of his artificial intelligence for Teslabot. We have compiled for you all in this video. Before we continue, please smash that like button, share, and comment on this video. Subscribe to the channel and put the notification bell on so you don't miss our next video. You may witness the newest news and projects of Elon Musk on the Cario Show channel. The true star of the presentation was the Tesla bot exclusively. It wasn't there in person, but a film was displayed in which a pair of humanoid robots, Optimus, gently collected their third brother prototype, which is unquestionably more capable than the one that was unveiled at Tesla a day earlier in September. Nonetheless, the video sparked a lot of debate. Among site visitors who suspected the corporation of cheating and changing the presentation, Musk frequently stated that Optimus will cost far more than the company's auto business. He also revealed that the robot is taught with Tesla's autopilot's artificial intelligence and that the majority of its technology is taken from the automobile or built by the same engineers. Musk describes the advancement of humanoid robot development as relatively quick, cautioning against companies to the development of Boston Dynamics robots. At the same time, the entrepreneur is convinced that as soon as the robot is ready, he will be able to put it into mass production and that in the future, the human-to-robot ratio will be greater than one-to-one. -one. This adaptable humanoid can be employed at home, in enterprises, or anywhere else, similar to Elon Musk's other intriguing inventions. His idea to boost humanity's competitiveness by expanding its capabilities with neural chips like the brain to the internet have so far failed. The regulatory authorities in the United States have declined to test the Neuralink chip on humans. Officials believe it is too risky, so the corporation has identified dozens of issues that must be resolved before the device is attached to the human brain. The biggest safety concerns revolve around the device's lithium battery, the possibility of tiny chip wires migrating into other areas of the brain, and the device's ability to be removed without harming brain tissue. At the same time, because neither Musk nor Neuralink representatives provide official statements, all information is conventionally reliable. Many people believe that Neuralink's troubles are directly tied to Musk, namely his leadership style when incredibly complicated problems must be solved in a frighteningly short period of time. Meanwhile, the company's competitors are stomping on their toes. For example, Synchronous's brain-computer interface has already been approved for human testing. Despite ambitions to retain computer memories and put individuals with spinal cord injuries in their feet, the device does not require brain surgery and allows paralyzed people to type in a computer with their thoughts recalled. Neuralink's first purpose was to print text on a variety of devices. Musk also opted to oppose the GPT's growth in the traditional way by establishing his own business for the development of artificial intelligence. The XI company has already been registered, and thousands of GPUs have been purchased for training the generative model. It is still necessary to locate extra funding for developers. Experts say the new moniker symbolizes Musk's goal to make the program as versatile as the Chinese WeChat. It can be used to make payments, order a car, deliver food, and many other things. Others conjecture that X Corporated will serve as the holding corporation for Musk's other ventures, including Shy and SpaceX. Let us return to Tesla Investor Day 2023, the title of the pre-production beta proto. In addition to the robot, the Cybertruck was on the show and it was physically present in the public domain. Visitors could examine not only the body with a glass roof, but also the interior, streamlined design, and panel layout as seen in the brand's previous electric vehicles, which were complemented by a redesigned steering wheel. It is also said that the back seats are foldable and that passengers would have their own screen there. It is unknown whether this is the final design with the assembly of the electric pickup expected for 2023 and a complete launch in 2024. Despite the fact that Elon Musk previously stated that it would be insane if the Starship's first flight was successful and that he only hopes the ship does not explode right at the launch pad, the entrepreneur appeared sad at the control center. Now SpaceX will study the flight data and work out the bugs before the next launch, which we all hope will take place in the next couple of months. Are you looking forward to the new Starship rocket's launch? Comment on Elon Musk's disclosed plans at Tesla Investor Day 2023, which were to persuade investors that the company's long-term standing aim of producing 20 million electric vehicles per year by 2030 will be met. Tesla produced little under 1 million units in 2022. 400,000 cars equate to an almost 15-fold increase in production for the corporation. Musk claims that he sees no problem with this. It is simply essential to expand vertical integration, establish new plants, scale up current ones, and boost production. In addition, the entrepreneur intends to raise the number of models to 10. Interestingly, if you look at the timeline, Tesla took 12 years to create the first million cars, 11 months for the third million, and less than 7 months for the fourth million. The fourth installment maintains the subject of increasing productivity. 
One of the most significant announcements during Tesla Investor Day 2023 was the confirmation of the company's next plant in Mexico. The new factory will cost the corporation $5 billion in the first phase, with the total cost of $10 billion estimated later. The plant, with a declared capacity of 1 million cars per year, will be the world's largest. The project, which will cover an area of 17 square kilometers, will begin building in the following months. Let's go back to other robotics news. Naver Labs, in collaboration with academics from the Korean University's Robot Laboratory, is conducting a project targeted at teaching robots real human movements. To do this, engineers created a customized robot with a joint structure similar to that of a person. When robots become prevalent in our homes, the aim is that they will be as near to their owner as possible, including the robot's emotional perception. A drone recently flew above a Tesla plant in Texas, filming a Cybertruck with a massive wiper on the windscreen. Serial manufacturing of the electric pickup is expected to begin this year, so maybe this is the final or near-final version. The caretaker has an odd appearance, but it serves its purpose. How do you feel about this type of Cybertruck? Thanks for watching this video, please leave your thoughts in the comments and let us know which of Elon's initiatives you like best. Did you like to subscribe to Cairo? Display the channel and see previous videos. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click down below and leave me a comment about which supercar you prefer to have. Thanks for watching.